Now, there are many feats yet to be discovered in the world. One of such is that of a young man who has decided to bury himself in the dictionary. You want to ask how? The story of Shafiu Adamu, based in the northwestern part of Nigeria, is such that lays credence to how far the brain can be strained to achieve anything. In this Sunday special, Olawa traveled to the northern part of Nigeria where he came up close with a man who claims he knows more than 10,000 idioms and phrasal verbs in the Oxford Dictionary. The report. The average adult human brain is said to have the ability to store the equivalent of 2.5 million gigabytes of digital memory. The Oxford Dictionary has 273,000 head words, 171,476 of them being in current use, 47,156 being obsolete words and around 9,500 derivative words included as sub-entries. It means the brain has the capacity to carry more than nine times the content of the Oxford English Dictionary, including over 6,000 idioms and 6,000 common phrasal verbs. But has anyone attempted this in the world? Information reached me that a young man based in Kaduna, Northwest Nigeria, has managed to keep sounds of booming guns and incessant armed conflict to commit words to memory. I then flew to Abuja to meet with the genius. Now in the capital of Nigeria and specifically Kubwa area of Abuja, Shafiu Adamu based in Kaduna had to meet me here for his feet to be explored. The place of convergence in Abuja is his eldest stepbrother's house, whom I also discovered has some skills that have helped him excel in the military before retirement. So he has a, just I would say, natural brain for learning many things, and we are now happy. Because even the finishing of the dictionary, you can do it. And then idioms and other things directly. Many people have been trying him. They even invited him, him, they invited him to the ministries. But up till now, we didn't see anything. We are trying to get you something, but first. Major what... Muhammad Alaji Adam, retired, pointed out how the family has been known for one special gift or another. For him, his calligraphy writing made him the delight of his superiors in the force. The handwriting we inherited from our father and grandfather. Like me, I have been writing certificates for army. Just the same thing when we were in teacher's college, I was the one who wrote all the testimonials for, from five. This one, the same thing. Back to the talk about the man with the dictionary brain, who claims he has more than 10,000 idioms and phrasal verbs. Shafiu Adamu is said to have had flair for memorizing words right from childhood. But his brother admits that all has not been as favorable for them through time. I am not feeling happy because it's like wasted knowledge. Once it's not there, no more there, then the, the whole knowledge is just gone. Mr. Adamu is a 39-year-old who has been receiving mentions in national dailies for knowing virtually all the words in a dictionary, together with their meanings for almost 10 years. When I started, I, find them, I found them to be very cumbersome. The saying that a book should not be judged by its cover best describes this young man who has buried himself in the dictionary. He is an introvert, but his quest for learning is loud. A factor which his tag as a dull student in secondary school helped create. Since when I was in secondary school, I used to be 
I used to be a slow learner. Okay. Sometimes ago, as far as English language is concerned. So that's why I develop a hobby of learning English words and phrases so that it can facilitate my learning process. I decided to put him to test. Hit somebody for something. That is to ask somebody for money. <laughs> to ask somebody for money. I learned virtually all the English phrases, be it idioms and phrasal verbs. Against the culture of the northerners, the love for dictionary made Shafiu Adamu to stay for 39 years before deciding to get married. Idiomatic expression. This graduate of Library and Information Science from Amadou Bello University, Zaria, is also interested in imparting both the young and the old. His niece, a pharmacist turned teacher, says her flair for English words was inspired by her uncle. He always has this thing of teaching us. He's always interacting with us. Whenever you sit with him, you always get one or two things to learn. You know, um, learning English has been from him. She believes his best is yet to come. Our society is not being fair to people like him because they don't give them the chance to explore or to showcase what they have. They are always being suppressed at the background. To further substantiate this claim, we'll be going out to speak with scholars in the field, in the profession, to engage him so that we can truly say this knowledge is with him and we can push it to the world. So, Jeffy, so can we, can we go now? Okay. All right, so we are going to be having to meet I left the house and water. headed straight to Nile University in Abuja to substantiate this claim. The head of mass communication department, Professor Osman Koroglu, was helpful. He engaged him. Thank you so much. It's good to be here. So, dish the dirt. Dish the dirt. On someone, somebody. Yes, that is to criticize or damage somebody's image. Okay. Give somebody jeep. GYP. Give somebody GYP. Jeep. That is to cause pain to somebody. Okay. After a few minutes of interactions, the renowned professor admits that Shafiu Adamu has got an amazing gift. Uh, based on my limited assessment that we had together, uh, I can say that he, his claim has value. A renowned scholar in international circles, the communication expert believes the gift can be further enhanced. Any support that he may receive from the authorities would be beneficial for the society, not just for him, but for the society also. I am focusing my finger. At the same university, we sought the opinion of a medical expert in interpreting this phenomenon. There is no dangerous uh, uh, effect on brain. Only we can, we can increase brain cap capability. Also, uh, uh, this activity may be, uh, decrease uh, the possibility of Alzheimer and other uh, disorders. The first outing to substantiate Shafiu Adamu's claim got me more interested to press further. The following day was another long journey to Nasarawa State University. This time around, we stopped at the Department of Languages and Linguistics. Dr. David Abraham received us with his members of staff. He is uh, he's trying to bring up something that is new. Having explained the reason for the visitation, they all gazed at him and engaged the young man afterwards. The exercise of quizzing him only left them puzzled. Did you categorize the idioms or you just learn them page by page from the dictionary? So actually, what I normally do is just to jot them down and a, maybe on a notebook. As you come across them? 
Or you just follow the dictionary page by page? Not page by page. Okay. randomly. For the fact that he has ventured into this kind of an area and uh, he has memorized, uh, I think it's, it's something we should commend him for. They confirm that his emergence will doubtless add something to erudition while also inspiring more students. He has engaged his mind purposefully. He has engaged his brain productively. The linguist, lexicographer and other scholars were quick to encourage him to do something on preserving indigenous idioms, proverbs and phrasal verbs. And you take time to trace the, the, the idioms in full line because if you go on developing English on now, we in the ling in linguistics department we are more interested in our native languages. Of course. If you can do what you did in English or what you have done in English in outside and uh, you are able to develop what you have done in English. It will go a long way to preserve our, our language. That aspect of, in, of language might be endangered because the younger ones no longer use them the way they ought to be. So we are saying that we should encourage you, the government should encourage you. When you talk of support, the government, if the government is not supporting you, a lot, there are a lot of research grants that we can you can explore but the the important thing is that you need a platform in his response mr adamo assured the educationist that he will work on their observations there is a potential partnership between the department and the dictionary man to further encourage more students of linguistics ironically Shafiu Adamu is now tilting towards the business of buying and selling just to keep body and soul together. This a distraction of a sort from what he is keen about. This is how I'm being disappointed by it. Because my dream is to reach that level of writing speeches and other things which the knowledge will be properly enhanced. But I know with time, sooner or later, in one way or the other, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There are many Nigerians with unimaginable gifts and talents, but the level of acceptance from the society has made some of those potential blossom, while others have had to crawl out of their passion into something unconnected. Will this be the story of Shafiu Adamu now that he has continued to push for the world to see that his feat is incomparable? Time will tell if he will be able to secure a world record. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Abuja.